going to chat today about programming and instilling intentions into crystals, gemstones, jewellery, etc. It's a lot easier than many people think um, and anybody can do it. You do not have to be a Reiki practitioner, a Reiki healer, um, a crystal healer, etc. to do this. Anyone can do it. It is a must though because when you go and purchase anything that has been in a shop, many people would have handled it and energy would have transferred into it. So for example, I've got a, a lovely piece of amethyst which I use to cleanse um, my crystals once I've done some healing. So I picked this up in a shop and how it works when you buy your crystals or your gemstones, you buy the ones you are most attracted to. It can be small, big, even if it's small, it doesn't mean it's less powerful than this huge big clump there. They're, they all contain the same power. So when people go into a shop, they will pick it up, they will touch it, they will put it close to them. While they're doing this, energy is being released from their body into that crystal. If they don't like it, they can put it back on the shelf. Next person comes along, picks it up, does the same. All of a sudden that's filled with many numerous people's energies. You don't want that. You want your own crystal for its own purpose. So when you, when you bring it home, your best bet is just to cleanse it. And I've got a YouTube video on cleansing, which you can follow. And then program it with your own intention. So for example, I've got this piece of amethyst, nice piece. Um, this intention, I use this specifically for a quick cleanse on my jewellery. So how to cleanse and program. Pop it in your hands, cover it up and just go, I programmed this piece of amethyst with the intentions of cleansing, clearing my jewellery. I program this piece of amethyst for cleansing, clearing my jewellery. Just repeat it over and over and over again until you feel comfortable when to stop. It could be 30 seconds, it could be a minute, it could be a bit longer. It depends on how much energy is in it. So. By programming it, that actually just gives it a bit of a boost and it goes, oh, okay, that's what I'm meant to be for. Now, a new piece of rock, um, crystal, anything like that, um, can forget its intentions. So the more you do its intentions, the better, especially when it's new um, and that's what it's used for. So I've got um, a lovely piece, I've got actually a few pieces of raw amethyst. These are used for meditating with, um, I just put it in my hands or on my third eye when I'm led down or my heart chakra and um, they come on in and I just use the intentions. I program this piece of amethyst with the intentions of calmness, soothing, relaxing my mind. I program this piece of amethyst with the intentions of calmness, soothing, and clearing my mind. I'll go over and over until I'm comfortable with that. Same goes for every bracelet that I make. Every bracelet that I make, um, I'm doing Reiki within it. I put Reiki power symbols in there and I also program them with intention. So for example, we've got this lovely amber bracelet, adult amber bracelet for wisdom tooth pain. Um, these are sounding really great at the moment and I've used these myself when I've been in a lot of pain and um, they really do help. So I'll just put that in my hand again, cover it up. I program this bracelet with the intentions of pain relief. I program this bracelet with the intentions of pain relief. I program this bracelet with the intentions of pain relief. Now I feel heat through my hands, but as a healer, I am, um, I generate quite a bit of heat when I'm treating people. So if you feel warmth while you're doing your intentions ah, that's really good it's really good um some people feel cold so you, you go either or either it doesn't matter but that's good if you don't feel anything don't worry the intentions are still going in there your mind is actually putting the intentions into that bracelet 
So I've got a hematite bracelet here that's ready to go out today to a lady that's suffering restless leg syndrome. Um, it's not actually a bracelet, it's anklet, it's going on her ankle. Um, and I said to, to put it on the ankle, which the leg is really playing up more because normally you'd get one more than the other. Um, so before this goes out, I will do the intentions. I'll just do a quick one for the sake of the video. I programmed this, this anklet with the intentions of relief of restless leg syndrome, night cramps, spasms. I programmed this anklet with the intentions of relief of restless leg syndrome, night cramps and spasms. And I'll do some more on that later as well, but that, that's just an example of what we do. Um, so that's how you program your gemstones, crystals, geos with intentions. Um, very easy, like I said, anyone can do it. And um, after you've done a cleanse on things, it's, um, it's always good to have that um, going on. So yeah, that, that, that's how you do it, nice and easy.